Hey everybody, this is Sala. You're watching Smart Code. So let's continue with our message box tutorial. In our previous tutorial, we learned how to code a message box with the help of the message box class and the show method. And we coded a message box with five different arguments that you can also see on the screen. So this is where we left our previous tutorial. We just coded a message box. So we are going to start from here and we'll learn how to collect the user response back in the VRAM. And what do I mean by user response? The user response is actually the choice made by the user. In our message box, we have choose to show three buttons, yes, no, and cancel. The user can either choose yes, no, or cancel. And that response we are going to save in our program and then let our program to do different things uh, based on uh, the response. So before we go further, let me first uh, run the program and show you the message box that we created in our previous tutorial. Right? This is our message box with three buttons, yes, no, and cancel. And it's a an standard message box with yes, no, and cancel buttons. And I'm sure you have already seen uh, such boxes, such dialog boxes in desktop applications. So when a user interacts with such kind of message box, he or she make a choice. And that choice sent back to the program in form of enum. And that enum is called dialog result. In other words, this message box returns a user choice as dialog result enum. This is how it is implemented in .NET. So in our code, we need to declare a dialog result uh, enum variable in order to save that response. So right before the message box here, we will create a, a variable of dialog result. And we can call it, let's say, user choice, right? So whatever response may it be, just yes, no or cancel, it is returned back to the program as a dialog result. And that's why we need a variable uh, of the same type, right? So now we have saved the user response in a variable. And that variable need to be processed further in the program to let the program decide different things. And how do we process that user response? We are gonna definitely need if statement. Then I would say if uh, user choice equals dialog result of yes, then do something. And if user choice equals dialog result dot no, then do something different. In the same way, I would say if user choice equals dialog result dot cancel then do something right so this is how you are going to figure out show a message box whenever it is needed save the response and process it now for the confirmation if these statements are working or not uh, we can uh, put a label on the form to show the result Let's just take a label, right? And let me increase the font size. And so now in the code, I will print the text. Uh, here I will say, I copy it from here. Right? Let's now run the program. Display the message box. Here we have it. Now press yes. And here you see you press yes. Now display again and click on the no button. You press no. And finally, last option is cancel. Click on it. And here you see you press cancel, right? So my friends, now we have completed this topic and you learned how to deal with the message box, the message box class and the show method. I hope these two tutorials gave you some knowledge about c programming. I will see you around in some other tutorials and thanks for watching.